Hello and welcome. This is the third devlog for my fishing game, and if you haven't watched the previous devlogs yet, click the link in the description or the info card in the top right corner. Most of the last two weeks were spent cleaning up the code, which was a good opportunity for me to learn some better coding practices. I'm sure it's still far from perfect, but I think it's much better now. Some of what I learned helped me implement the fishing mechanic in the game, so I was able to keep my promise that I would be able to catch fish by this devlog. I started by setting up a casting system where the player can hold down the cast button to determine how far the line is cast out. And I've got everything in place to add an indicator that shows how much the cast has been charged. I also made a better model for the fish and got them to start moving around. Now they look much more alive than when they were just capsules floating in the water. Once they were moving, I got to work making them target the lure if they were within a certain range. At this point, I thought it was starting to really look like the fishing in Animal Crossing, which wasn't really my intention, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Getting the fish to rotate gave me almost as much trouble as getting the player to rotate did. That's part of the reason I had to create a new model for the fish, rather than using the capsules built into Unity. The model made it a lot easier to get the fish to point in the right direction. Once a fish gets into range of the lure, it waits for a random amount of time before it'll end up biting. I haven't added an indicator for when the fish bites yet, so for now it just shows in the console in the bottom left corner. I also made any fish near the lure get scared away when the line is reeled in. And of course I still hadn't worked out all the kinks in the player rotation. At least this time I knew what caused the problem, so it was just a matter of getting the player model to keep pointing the same direction as long as the line is out. Another problem I have to fix is the player's ability to just hop out of the boat and walk on water. For some reason when the boat is on a diagonal, the collision boxes for the sides don't work right. They just let the player walk right through. This glitch was actually pretty useful for testing, and I plan to remodel the boat soon anyways, so I didn't bother trying to fix it just yet. At this point, I've finished up everything I should need to catch fish, and I like the results so far. Once I add an inventory system, it should be pretty easy for me to add any fish that are caught. I still want to add the indicator for both the casting power and for the fish biting. It probably won't look very good yet, but I can get the functionality down first. Eventually I'm going to have to start making some real art for the game. I'm also still hoping to get some ideas for names too, so if you have any, leave them in the comments below. That's all for this devlog. I plan to start uploading a new devlog every two weeks. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.